welcome back to uh, Saving the Western Roman Empire from its um, unfortunate, unfortunate problematic fate. Uh, and also watching me try to um, seamlessly uh, integrate uh, and was it eight months difference since I last did the uh, last did this let's play according, according to uh, the data um, it was the third of May the last video in this series so I watched I try to seamlessly integrate um, eight months worth of difference oh, was it? I should have worked that before oh it's not eight months it's Seven months. I do beg his pardon. I do beg maths pardon. Um, when you joined us last, <laughs> uh, well, uh, yes, quite. We'd finished off the Celts, I seem to remember. Yeah. So Tara's there, looking rather unhappy. It's a city. He's not Tara. Tara, that's Marcus the Gambler. Finished off the Celts. We were going to finish off the Berbers with one army led by Herinius Corpulentus. Um, it was an Apician <laughs> glutton, but unusual. Uh, convinced that all spiders are in cahoots with his enemies, this man spends many hours drowning the treacherous little beggars in vinegar. Okay, well, what I want, I hope, is that he'll complete his mission before he goes stark raving mad. Um, or just leave it to Servius the Executioner. Who's leading the... My word, that's loyal. How on earth is he so loyal? Ah. He's a friend of the Emperor, that helps. Um, so I've got two armies there sorting out the Berbers. Who, I found out, do not hoard if you take the last city. So once you finish them off, that's Africa safe. Apart from, from this monstrous pseudo-Roman Empire to the east. Which is having its own troubles. And a, a third army is building up in Rome. Well, yes, quite. Oh, in Salona. That's, that's pretty impressive. Uh, the Barbarians I'm allied with. Which isn't that historically inaccurate. Um, so the... Uh, they tend to... Well, the Germans, the Germanic tribes did tend to invade, settle down, and then ally themselves with the, em with the, with the Empire. So the Empire kind of parceled itself out of existence. There was also a lot of massacres and looting and pillaging. Um, so that's primarily how it happens. Like the, the, the Goths were actually given, granted parcels of land, I think, in the, this bit here, the Balkans. Illyria, even. I think I've done everything last turn that needs to be done, but your guess is as good as mine. Move that assassin there, and we'll move this assassin down here. Hmm. Let's see what next turn brings. It brings the Huns. God, I hope not. Uh, best way, best way, actually, once you get used to the idea, sorting out, sorting out these hordes of nomads isn't, isn't too daunting. If you've got control of the bridge somewhere, it's done somewhere along here, park yourself on the bridge and um, get some plumbatarii, who are fan, I, was, I remember, I, I remember now, I raved something fantastic about plumbatarii. Um, who are like committitenses, apart from instead of having two peeler, they have about 30 lead darts that they fling one after the other, and they sort out horse archers like nobody's business. Um, oh, look at that spending all that money. That's it! 5,000 gold? I thought I'd have a bit more than that for an empire this size, I'll be honest. Ah, we were moving the God Squad through uh, through France, France, that was it. Uh, Grigianus, the, li the Lily Livered, who's so bad, he doesn't even have a bodyguard. <laughs> For some reason, he doesn't start with a bodyguard. He just got a set of archers, like, uh, like a captain. A Varicum is going to get a... Whoa.
Why not? Oh, it can't be destroyed because it doesn't exist yet. This does, though. A Temple of Mithras. It's probably not the best idea, considering that most of the troops of the Roman Empire, particularly in this period, were Mithraeans. What was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah. Um, I do remember talking an awful lot about the early Christian church in the earlier um, episodes. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to give some good advice never to talk uh, religion or politics, because you just, you never win. But you figure, if you talk about the early church, that's as much as talking about history, which is, maybe it's not, it's not wrong to talk about history, uh, but sometimes inadvisable. Particularly in the dinner party setting. Um, ooh. Oh, very nice, I think. Um, there's probably some reason why I've got this um, assassin here. Murdering hapless diplomats. Oh, rats. I don't, I don't remember hiring so many assassins. This is probably why my exchequer is so poor, because assassins cost 100 upkeep each. He is as well. Well done. Uh, trace increase. He's a murderer. That helps if you're an assassin. He's also picked up a skilled courtesan. Say no more. Um, oh, is he? No, he's a spy. And um, we've got an assassin here. Don't you just taste it when you just have too many, too many assassins to keep track of? Let's have some assassin on assassin, uh, assassin on, uh, assassin on assassin action, which is a sentence I didn't really want to say in the first place. Yeah. I'll teach you. But it won't teach him any new skills. He... No. So... He knows enough already, apparently. And there's another one. There's... A Saxon assassin. assassin ready. Eat dead. He's dead. He's not dead. There's 95% chance. And you failed. You blew it. Assassin ready. Assassin ready. Yes, I seem to have hired a, a large number of uh, assassins with no particular purpose in mind. Now, what I feel I ought to do is sort out the family heir. That's, who's the heir? Um, might be a bit early to think about things, such things. My ruler is only 33. And his heir is older than him. The factory heir is older than the um, Caesar is older than the Augustus. Anyway, right, what was I talking about? Um, oh yeah, the early church. That was <laughs> quite a good book on that actually. It was John Julius Norwich's The Popes. And it's it's like quite quite a light read. I thought. But judging the book from its cover, as, as you really ought to do, uh, it was going to be a really quite hefty tone, quite, quite uh, gaudy, for want of a better word. No, it's a really easy read, really light read, and um, really quite informative. It just goes from like all the popes, from St. Peter to Benedict XVI, I think. I'm currently at about 1200 AD. And we've already got past um, ten Johns, uh, two Ignatiuses, and ooh, quite a few 
quite a few Peters and quite a few Pauls. And a number of Benedicts as well. We're really cracking, we're cracking on with the, like numbers of Popes with the same name. But then again, if you're going to, if you are going to elect primarily prim prim the older men to an office, you are going to get quite high uh, turnover, for want of a better word. I don't think there's anything I can do apart from I'm going to wait for them to build a theatre because the only thing that's keeping them from revolting is the fact that there's an army there. Hmm. I really need to learn to press the end turn button more. I mean, it's probably why things are taking such a long time. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at all these troops. Uh, now, he's actually quite a good general ignore the fact that he's a pagan. Um, so that doesn't affect his command ability, but it does make things a little bit awkward when you're trying to convert your entire civilization to Christianity. Which the East doesn't have that problem. Oh, bleed neck. <laughs> Just talk through it. Every time I start recording a video, phone rings. So much phone ringing. Um... Can you be? No, not really. Perhaps you can go over there and, ju and just look busy. Right, what's next? Oh dear. It's Soviet Executioner versus Al Harith. Better to fight them here, I suppose, than in a siege environment. I think. Having said that. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, sorry, that was a phone call I couldn't ignore. If, uh, if the house phone goes, it's fine, ignore it. If my mobile goes, uh, it means it's for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, that ringtone, of course, was the um, drowning music from Sonic 1. Um, so ingrained into me is the fear of drowning in Sonic 1 that uh, it's encouraged me to pick up the phone in a uh, smartish manner. Yes, where was I? Yeah, the reason... Looking at this, the only reason that why this army's got a decent amount of men is that a lot of them are peasants. This should be fun. Okay, here we go. I mean, we should be sound. We've got the, the infantry to really give them the oomph. Now, you're probably wondering about this evening's entertainment. No. Thinking more about the battle ahead, but um, this seems to be to be standard procedure. It involves taking the yeah taking the peasants out of the way because they make the formation look messy. Because they just refuse to stand in anything other than a circle, a circular formation. So we'll kick them out of the formation. And they're going to first thing they're going to do is withdraw. Right, I think I've got the uphill, uphill advantage if I were to set myself down hmm, something of an uphill advantage. I how you can find a, a hill in the middle of the uh, Sahara Desert is news to me. We'll put every, hmm, we'll put everybody apart from the peasants. On. Mm. And the uh, Federati infantry. On to fire at will. Uh, one of the differences between the East and the Western Empires is they, the East has Legio Lanciari. Or Lanciari, depending on whether you say it with a hard C or a soft C. The Romans said it with a hard C. Like they did both things, like Macedon and Seleucia and Scythia and Caesar. Whereas we say it with a soft C. So, so we get sibilant sounds, so to speak. Ah, lots of words begin with S. What S sounding? Um, C. 
certainly superfluous superfl siblings. Uh, yeah, and Legio Lanci Lanciarii can fire Pila. So the Byzantines have, the Eastern, Rom Eastern Romans, have an extra layer of units that can fire Pila, which is incredibly useful. Because Federati, for all the, you know, Germanic courage and eagerness to fight, can't throw spears. Uh, the, the also, once you build the top level of the uh, Hippodrome or whatever it is, as the uh, Eastern Roman, you get to build cataphracts. And everybody who's anybody knows about the cataphracts. I've never actually used them in a battle. Um, because in the meantime, since the recording, I've done another, another Let's Play as Eastern Romans just to see what they were like. Quite boring. Um, And they're very expensive. It costs about 1,300 denarii, which is about a third of my exchequer is the Eastern Romans, Western Romans. Hmm. They're up to something, and I don't like it. Hmm. 77. I don't know who's got that. He's not a faction heir. Or perhaps he should be. He is quite competent. competent. And executioners are always useful in their uh, own politics. It defeats the distinct possibility. That's, that's one way of putting it. Mercenary equities. I need you to flee post haste. Let's go, come on. There we go. So as far as flanks go, we're all right. Don't waste, stop it, no, don't do it. I can see what you're thinking. Don't waste your peeler on those three horsemen. Oh, it's three. But you're all gonna do it, you're all Morons. Huh. Right. Don't fire at will. Oh god, fire at will. Why aren't you firing at will? Oh crikey. Somebody's routing, and I think it's... Oh, it's not me. We're all right. How are they doing? They're still playing around with the cavalry. I think I can see what's going on. Oh, victory is a certainty. I've less of that. You come on over there and help take out their general. That was fairly comprehensive. Oh no, the reforming. It's not it's not quite done yet. Fighting to the death. That's how I like it when I'm dealing with generals. That way you know they're going to die. Gotcha! The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Uh, ooh. Right, I need you to... Yeah. We've got them on the run. Just about. If we can keep up the pressure. I'm using quite a lot of cavalry to say that the Western Roman Empire wasn't exactly renowned for it. We're not actually picking up people, we're just kind of just kind of playing with them. Like toying with your food. Um. 
I don't, I don't like it when it does this. For some reason, it just won't tick on like groups of people. You, I think it's, it's usually because the sprites are all spread out, so it doesn't know which one to go for. Come on, boosh! Now you're routing. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. I've played played this game far, far too much, and you're not running to wherever you're going. Uh, now take out the hillmen, they're marginally more valuable than peasants. Perhaps a trifle excessive, but um, frighteningly satisfied. Where are you going? Oh, right. Well, I think that's everyone. Maybe the music, as the music not updated to the fact that I've won the battle. <laughs> All Roman beer made to such a victory. The day is ours. Fairly comprehensive. <laughs> That's where I went to school, wasn't it? <laughs> boom, boom. Everyone's a comedian, apart from me. Oh, dear. I have a feeling I know where this battle's taking place. Yeah. Leave me alone! Stop that! Oh, uh, writing in the Varicum. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely fuming 0% one turn, 80% the next. And it's going to get better. Uh, Christianity is a good one to convert to from a, the, a control point of view. It makes people a lot happier than most of the other pagan religions do. You can also build hermitages. Or like a second branch to help improve public order. Which didn't really take off in the West, they were more of an Eastern thing. But uh, why let facts get in the way of a good story? Um, very nice. Makes sense to build some mines there. Hmm. It's good if pagan. Um, not just pagan, but actively um, dislikes Christian cultists. So he's no good from a, a public order standpoint. That's a lot of blacksmiths. Seem, actually, I do seem to remember now ordering them everywhere. I don't do that, they're my rebels. I'll deal with them. Eventually. Fleet ready. Right, okay, so the seas are evidently too dangerous. Well, that's a relief. I thought there was a large army there. Right. Plans to be chased up and down the Adriatic by um, pirates. Imperator. Well, that's the exchequer spent, and I've not built anything of note. Well, let's keep going. Right, we'll begin the siege there. They can build the uh, siege equipment. Oh, the lights. Um, he's so loyal. 
I don't recall my commanders being this loyal before. Well, look lively. Come on, you've got that kind of movement point in you. Hmm. Idle gits. Right. Because we can't, we can't cross our own uh, seas with impunity anymore. We've got to make these uh, naval journeys short and sweet. Don't think they're going to survive the turn somehow. You can join the army. Now, where was I? Um, murdering agents. Well, wasn't there supposed to be a Saxon assassin around here somewhere? Um, Death approaches. Why don't you try again? There we go. And he's learnt a skill. That's nice. How about him? Nicely done. Um, he's a cutthroat now as well. Very nice. Um, another one. Oh, very nice. This is a superior assassin. Sometimes with real skill. Good to know. He's a bit on the old side now, 38. I don't know how many more years of active service will get out of him. Uh, and 31% probably, probably isn't. That'll go anyway. Oh, never mind. You tried your best. Okay. Um, I feel there's something we can do with that army. I don't know what it is. to do something about him. I'll leave the peasants at home. What's public order with just a few peasants in? Atrocious. Fine, you are going anywhere for another turn then. Um, you can head to North Africa where... You know, your, your pagan ways will get nowhere because it's very solidly Christian. I mean, look at that. 91%. Although it has got a pagan neighbour. From somewhere. Well, I think. I don't know. No, they're Christian. So evidently that's uh, that's pagan. I don't know why, because the um, Eastern Roman Empire is more Christian than I am. Ah. So I've lost those provinces. <laughs> Along with their attendant watchtowers, which is a crying shame. Right, since I'm out of money, I'm going to see what the next turn brings. Yeah. It's all very stable. Now, it says at the beginning of the game that uh, the Western Roman Empire is very hard. But, once you stabilise things... 
Your cities are significantly smaller than in the Eastern Empire as well. One of the things I've noticed. But once you stabilise things, you're actually in a really good position. Ooh. I look this magna. Yeah, just from just from the number of provinces that you have, if you were to just if you're just careful with it. Well that's good to know. Uh, you manage the sort of discontentment and all the rest of it and you slowly convert everybody to Christianity. Um you're actually in a really powerful position. Well if we move over there. Well, that's fine. They're not going to start slipping back into uh, into paganism. Oh, look how happy they are. No. Oh, look how happy they were. Okay, let's see. This is going to be... Destructive. So... Yeah, it's like measles, good to get out of the way, I suppose, I guess. It's so effective as a missionary, though. So you can go there, then you can go to Vic Vicus Alamani, then to Augusta Trevorium. Colonia Agrippa. And then do all of Britain. Uh, about 300 years ahead of schedule. Right, clear off. I think 74, but there were a bunch of peasants. Right, if you look all joined forces. I'll get some of them. We'll leave the peasants behind. Oh, that works out really quite nicely. Merging armies in every sense of the word. We'll move into Demidi, where things are happening. One, two, three. Uh, three leaders. Third, first, second, third in line to the throne. This is going to be quite messy. Fortunately, I think the Berbers, uh, General's bodyguards, are not particularly well armoured. So it should be alright. And then we can move all our armies eastwards. Right, good. What's the plan of attack? One battering ram here. One battering ram in the centre. And one battering ram at the gates. And everybody that isn't a battering ram moved kind of across there like that. Well, it looks, it looks nice if nothing else. Are they facing the wrong way? Yes, yes they are. Um, which way is the right way? Is that? that, there we go. Actually, that's a bit thin. That's better. Right, we'll start as we mean to go on then. Ram, ram, ram. And relax. So 
So we're going to send these three to take some arrow fire there. These three to take... Cracker, that's quite a bit of arrow fire. You can stand over there. And these two can go over there. Oh, very nice. Right, we can slow the time down now. No, slow, slow it down. There we go. Right. That was kind of effective. Today, the walls are broken. Our troops should be ordered forward. Um, you three move forward. You can charge through the center there, and if you three come over here like that and stand there like that, and I don't know, look pretty. Oh, and some equities as well, why not? That'll teach you. Crikey, they've not got many people left. Um. You all run into position there. Run. Run. And you can all just charge into them. We'll get Sylvius Executioner to stand over there and look pretty. Those Limitari I can run over there. And lend the support. These two here, minus those Limitari, I can stand over there and do something. Over here, the battle is... Yeah, it's going alright, actually. And... Our other generals are not doing very much. You can run over there. Including the mad ones. Especially the mad one. He can, um, he can do his thing. How's that looking? There we go. Right in the back. Right up the flank. That was fairly, it's still an evenly match. There we go. You can fire your peeler whenever you like. Right, you can run over here. Over there, like that. Now, go, quick. Where are you going? Go there, go that way. Faster, bigger, stronger, better. Oh, it's fairly over. That looks fairly overwhelming. I said, no, yeah, you stand there and just fire those missiles. It's all right, reinforcements are on the way. You just sit pretty. Uh, do we have some equities or something running in there? Oh, these best laid plans, they're all, I don't know, off gang ugly. Burn some put it. They're shaken, but not stir. <laughs> shaken, but not routing. There we go. Yes, Imperator. All that stuff is said about. Um... There we go. <laughs> now it's balanced. Like, all that stuff is said about desert. Uh, the, the Berber generals not being heavily armoured. Yeah, that's bunkum. Yeah. Uh, here we go. You. Time to charge with my generals now, see how they like it. Don't run, you're winning! You're not losing anyway. 
Ooh. Very nice. Keep that up. Don't go anywhere. You, rally the troops. There we go. Ooh. There's a Christian shrine. Run! Faster! I think we would have been better off had I not touched anything. Meanwhile, you two, those two there, can run over to those peasants. Do something about them. These archers can go in there and stop being fired on. The enemy king is fleeing! This is truly a great day for Rome! Oh, one, two, three times a lady, I mean a king. Um, I don't know where that expression comes from, one, two, once, twice, three times a lady. Some musical, man. The enemy king lies dead at your feet. Now is the time to strike hard at his grieving subjects. Will do. More crucially, I've taken out all of his best cavalry. So down here we move. You boy. You're a bit winded, but carry on as you were. You're tired. You're very tired. You're tired. You're very tired. 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 Ooh, fresh. They're winded. That'll do. Can't afford to be picky. Now. Uh, you boy, you're fresh, but you're also archers. Winded, look warmed up, that'll do. Fantastic. Where are they? I feel I perhaps could have conducted that battle in a more better way. <laughs> Holy moly, what have I done? Um, everybody's running. Not can all stop. Apart from you. I'm pretty sure we've got them on the ropes now. Fairly certain. Don't fire that. I wouldn't advise charging into them. And, oh, charge them into them in the, in the back. Yeah, that's a great idea. We'll have more of that. Who's mad? Hey. I want to say him. It might be a service to the Empire if he was to charge headlong into a bunch of spears. <laughs> yes, quite. I might say that if I was ever part of a HR company. It might be... Uh, it might be... Uh, what, what, did, what did I just say? I can't remember. <laughs> It may be for the good of the company if you were to lay yourself off. Okay, this is this has got to mean something. I'm hearing a lot of winning of horses. Well, it looks fairly comprehensive as far as victories go. How many did I lose? It's thirty-four percent. Blind me, right? Um, yeah, they were amazed at how bloody it was. Crikey. Now, had it been Plumbatorii, it would have been an entirely different story. Oh, good grief. Um, lost 800 troops in that's That's terrible. <laughs> And boom, they're gone. Let's exterminate the population because I can't be dealing with that. We'll move. You lot, apart from the limited army, I actually can we retrain these feckless, fed these feckless federatis? And a few things there for public order. We'll move the peasants in. 
And there we have it. I think this is a good place, a good place to finish this this, this reintroduction to the Western Roman Empire by the smouldering ruins of Dimidi. Having whoosh, wiped out the Berbers. Um, pretty sure there should be a video of some kind there. The camels there, we can train camel mounted units. We can't train camel mounted units. Okay. So where next? Well we can drop him off there. What we want him to do is go over there and build a watchtower. Um, that seems fair enough, and I'll consider what to do next, next time. Uh, so, yeah, see you later.